Um, I believe probably everybody in this room knows that Alaskans tend to be, besides a rather independent lot, uh, we are pretty much take action and pretty creative. So what I'd like to ask each one of the panelists is their final comment, how can our community get involved in helping to solve this problem? Krishna, I'll start with you. Sure. Do, should I you, stop Yeah, just go ahead. She's recording. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right, sorry. <laughs> Uh, for me, I think it is uh, the the involvement piece is about uh, looking at uh, what you can do personally, and there are certain things you can do personally to engage. Uh, look at good wood burning practices uh, if you can. Uh, see how uh, that is. Uh, uh, members of the community have been burning wood for generations, so. There's always this thinking that, yes, I know how to do it, but please read and see uh, if you can check yourself to, to see how wood burning practices are the most effective and not let your money go up the, up the stack. And uh, engage in the community in promoting, maybe your neighbor doesn't believe that this is needed. So think, uh, think of uh, promoting it that way, neighbor to neighbor. Uh, also think of you know, one of the uh, things that I always hear about is in rural areas in the United States that people move there for their independence and their way of life. Uh, also, that is uh, absolutely your, you know, that is your right to do. There's, you're also part of a community. So think of in neighbors and think of uh, how you bring the community along in a very collaborative way. Uh, if there's ideas that you have, bring those forth as well. Uh, if there's ways that we can do things better, whether, whether the, the way we are communicating information or presenting the science, is there, is, if there's a way that we can do it better, uh, please let us know. Uh, so those are kind of things that uh, we think uh, it might, might help, but definitely not the only things that I can think of, but let my fellow panelists think of something. I think those are all really good points, and I, I really do think that um, with this particular, with the pollution problems in this particular area, um, this is really, there's a lot of individual action that's needed in order to, to collectively get to where we need to be. So as Krishna said, it may be ensuring that you're using your best burning practices, ensuring that you're using dry wood if you're, um, if you use wood, wood heat, for example, those are important. Um, all of us, you know, most of us drive vehicles, you know, plugging in your vehicles less than 20 degrees, that's helpful to this problem. Um, I would encourage people, um, some things that you can do, I would really encourage people to sign up for the, um, you know, to go to D the DEC website and put yourself on the email list or the text list and get the air alerts so that you know what your air quality is in, in the community. Um, you know, we are um, all winter long calling air advisories and air alerts. Um, we do do them by the zones, the same zones that the borough has been using in North Pole and in Fairbanks. Uh, I think that's incredibly important, not only so that you know what sorts of requirements they might be related to burning, but also because you may want to take protect steps to protect yourself or your kids. Um, and then spreading that word um, and what you know about the issue with your neighbors and trying to encourage other people to, to do their part because it is a collective um, community-wide effort that's needed to really bring the area into attainment. 